Welcome to MT Engineering. This is the third part of tutorial which is on modeling this beautiful maze tracer machine in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you'll enjoy it. Choose part, click OK. Then go to front plane sketch and choose circle, draw a circle from this center and specify the diameter of this circle 830 millimeter, draw a line from this point around there, right click construct Construction geometry, then go to trim extent entities, then trim this outer edge of this circle and go to smart dimension, specify the dimension around 175 mm, then choose line, draw line around here and again in the opposite direction choose this point and draw a line around here choose this line and this line make it equal then smart dimension type the dimension around 80 millimeter Now we have to offset this line, select all of this line, deselect this line and deselect this demi, deselect this all and go to offset entities, offset it around 50 millimeter, click OK. Then we have to fill these edges, this gap. And similarly here, extrude both base, keep mid plane, and type the dimension around one thousand one hundred fifty millimeter. Then choose top plane sketch and choose the slot. And specify the dimension. These are around 12 millimeter. Now it is fully defined. So go to features, extrude cut, cut it around here, through all, and we get this. Then choose this x this feature and choose linear pattern around this axis along this axis and specify the distance between the gap between each of the patterns make it 75 millimeter and specify the instances 8 mm 8 instances then in direction to choose this axis and similarly specify the damage the gap 75 millimeter 
and number of instances to eight we have to flip the direction then click ok now we get this so again choose this linear pattern and we have to choose circular pattern choose this face and type angle around 60 degree and number of instances around 13 number of instances it's good it looks good and in the direction to activate the direction to and type 60 degree and specify the number of instances to 13 make it equal spacing choose equal spacing and again specify the dimension the angle now it looks good then click ok So we get this part. Again, choose right plane sketch and choose a, a rectangle. Draw a rectangle around here. Go to smart dimensions. Specify the dimension of this height around 250 mm and this width 100 Now we get fully defined sketch. Go to features, extrude cut, then click OK. Now this is our part. You can add an appearance on it. Choose this color. Click OK. It's Save it. Now the second part. Choose part and choose right plane sketch. Go to rectangle, draw a rectangle around here, and draw a line. It's the middle of the sketch. then choose this and smart timing go to smart dimension and specify the dimension of this sketch
exit the sketch go to plane right choose right plane and offset it around 830 millimeter then again choose this plane and sketch again we go to rectangle choose rectangle and draw a rectangle from this point around here go to smart dimension specify the dimension of this rectangle Exit the sketch again. Choose this pla plane and offset from the plane one around 800 millimeter. Click OK. Choose this face and sketch. Again, choose rectangle, draw center rectangle here, and draw a line up to there. Construction geometry, go to smart dimension, specify the dimension of this rectangle. Exit the sketch. Now again we have to add a new plane offset from plane to around 300 millimeter and click OK. Choose this plane sketch and again Choose this edge of the previous sketch and convert into this. Exit the sketch. Oh, now hide, hide all of the planes. You have to edit this part first. Delete this dimension here. and drag it down a little bit down then go to smart dimension choose this line and this line around 240 millimeter then exit the sketch now it looks good so hide normal to this and hide all of the planes then using lofted boss base command we choose this point and this point Click OK. Choose lofted boost base command and show show these sketches. Then choose lofted boost base and choose this edge here. 
and here. Drag this point up to there. Now we get perfect. Click OK. And hide this sketch again. And choose this point. Go to Lufted Boss Base. Choose this point and this point. Choose this point and this point, then click OK. Hide all of these unnecessary sketches. Then choose this face and go to shell, specify the thickness to 10 millimeter and click OK. Now we get this hollow shape. Choose this face sketch. Go to wireframe. Choose these inner edges and outer. Choose this edge, this edge, and this. And finally this, then convert into this. Go to three point arc. Specify the dimension of this arc. Go to trim extend and trim this line. Then go to line and fill this line. Now we get I think it looks perfect. Make it tangent. Now it is fully defined. Back to solid edges and go to feature, extrude cut, cut it through all, pause and click OK. Now choose this, uh, this face and sketch. Draw a rectangle from this point up to there. Go to Smart Dimension, specify the dimension. Go to features, extrude boss base, flip direction, it looks good, click OK. Then choose Front right plane
and offset from right plane this feature and mirror about this then hide this plane it looks good and choose the line draw a line from there to there construction geometry again choose this line draw a line from the midpoint again make it construction geometry and go to smart dimension define the dimension of this now go to circle first define these lengths Go to circle, choose the center point here and up to here. Now it is fully defined. So go to features, extrude cut through all bows, click OK, then choose this face, sketch. and to look it better cut it around here then choose rectangle draw a rectangle around there and define the dimension define the dimension around 250 millimeter from this point 210 millimeter here 100 millimeter now it is fully defined go to features extrude cut back to the main view now we get this you can add an appearance on it if you want okay thanks for this tutorial we will continue this tutorial